Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of UI Builder, today we discuss part 4 and here we discuss about events. How to configure events in UI Builder. So let's get started. This is the basic diagram. First of all, what is an event? So any kind of action which is done by the user or by the system on the particular form or on the particular component is known as event. Here are a few examples. User click a data visualization. Let's say user click a particular link or a user click a particular pie chart, a particular table, a particular form. Okay, anything. Page successfully fetched data. It means system is doing something, system is loading the form, system is transacting the data. All such things can be termed as event. I hope you understand what is an event. Now in UI Builder, there are three things. First of all, event, then event mapping, and then event handler. Event I told you, let's say user clicked a particular link. But what happened when the user click? There can be many things you can do with that particular click. Number one, you can open alert box. Number two, you can open a particular form. Number three, you can open a particular message. Number four, you can open a particular error message. Number five, you can open a particular list. You can open a particular form. And number of things are associated with a particular event okay so we have to configure we have to map a event with the event handler so this is what we do in UI builder remember one thing that a event is a component specific thing it means it means the number of event available for a particular components may differ from other components so now let me configure one event and show you one example come here go to UI builder you see this is UI Builder. Let me open this app. ServiceNow 911. This is in time of application. Okay. So now let's open this particular variant. All user under agent incident form. Click on it. This is our simple list. Okay. I will configure event on this list now. So now select this. Go to events. Here you see add event mapping. Click on it. So here you see select an event. So you see here with respect to this simple list, we have only these particular actions or you can say events available like scroll updated, reference link clicked, a user click a reference link in a shell like clicking this. View all clicked. What will happen when the user click on view all? Like this you see n number of options are available. So let me configure this event that is view all. Click here. As soon as we clicked it, you will see here all the event handlers. It means when someone click on view all, all these options are available. It means we have the option to do all these things whenever someone click on view all. Okay. So let's select this one link to destination. It means we want to redirect to somewhere else to some other destination whenever someone click on view all. So come here. At the bottom, you see select the destination. Under pages, you see external URL. So here we have to provide some URL. So I have provided a URL like this. This is what a URL of a task table. Okay, the complete list of a task. You see this one. So what I am doing, whenever someone click on view all, I am redirecting user to here. Okay, click on OK. Click on add. So you see here, it is configured properly. Whenever someone click on view all, go to this destination. Click on save. So now I think it is configured. Now let's preview it. Go to open URL path. So you see here various links are available. If I click here, nothing happening. If I click here, nothing happening. If I click here, again nothing happening. But if I click here, I am going to that particular list because we have configured the event under view all for this particular workspace for this particular list that's why only view all click is working otherwise no other is working okay so this is how we configure events so now it's your job to understand these events and these event handlers because the number is huge and we are having n number of events as well as many number of event handlers so I will provide few more examples, few more complex examples in later videos. But till now, you understood what is event, how to configure it, what is event mapping and what is event handler. 
that's you in part number five thank you so much bye bye